फाइव सेकेंड मिस्टर डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन सर फॉर द लास्ट थ्री और फोर डेज वी हैड द प्रिविलेज ऑफ लिजनिंग टू ए नंबर ऑफ स्पीचेस ऑन द बजट ऑफ दिस ईयर सर आई के नॉट क्लेम दैट आई हर्ड ऑल द स्पीचेस बिकॉज आई वॉज हैंडी कैप्ड एज द डिस्कशन ऑन द बजट वॉज गोइंग ऑन सिमल्टेनियसली इन बोथ हाउसेज देर फोर आई हैड टू सेटिस्फाई माई सेल्फ विथ लिजनिंग to some speeches here and going through the speeches of some other members as far as i could do that sir naturally the budget was criticized by some people and it was welcomed by others it is very natural that the budget cannot be expected to be welcomed on all hands but even then i can say that this year's budget escaped much of the severe criticism that was expected there may be some reasons for it and i need not go into those reasons i tried to analyze the speeches of the members who criticized the budget and i find that there are three or four types of criticism in this house one type of criticism is a condemnation of all the policies of the government naturally they have condemned the budget as such according to them all the policies of the government of india are wrongly conceived wrongly implemented and so on and so forth there is the other type of criticism where the government has been criticized for lack of policies so one group is saying that there are no policies at all and the other is saying that we have got policies but not good policies of course members from this side of the house welcomed the budget saw the good points of the budget and at the same time they also had uh, some criticism to offer uh, this is very uh, rightly so because i also cannot claim that everything in the budget is something that should be praised not because the budget is uh, faulty but uh, because the situation in which we are drawing up the budget has uh, some difficult aspects uh, i will now try to deal with the different uh, groups of criticism and try to show what the major good points are in the budget sir during the last 4 years we are dealing with a peculiar economic situation in this country it is being dealt with by the finance minister according to the philosophy in which he believes the philosophy is that we have to see that we do not lose sight of our important economic and social objectives our objective is the objective of socialism elimination of inequality and giving social justice to the vast masses of the people through economic progress and through economic growth this is the basic philosophy which we are applying to this problem we are passing through difficult times and we are facing certain difficult challenges when making a difficult journey one must keep one's own perspective very clear and must at the same time keep faith in oneself and in one's objectives or principles this is what we are doing and this is what has guided the formulation of the year's budget one of the grand issues of the present grave economic realities is inflation sir can anybody expect that merely through one budget one can immediately bring about complete disappearance of inflationary forces it is just not possible because the budget is not expected to be a miraculous instrument but uh, certainly the most important factor to be considered is whether this budget has helped in the present inflationary climate and whether it has made a very serious and genuine effort for economic growth there are different ways how you can fight inflation through economic activities but when you think of fighting inflation through a budget i would say that there are two tests by which the budget can be judged first it has to be seen whether the resource resources are properly applied for the economic growth of the vital sectors in this budget despite all the inflationary forces despite all the deficit financing that we had and despite all the difficulties of raising the resources through taxation we have made an effort to make more provisions for the growth of important sectors like coal steel chemicals and transport it is only through making efforts for the strength and growth of the economy that we can fight inflation successfully and therefore i claim that this budget is in that sense uh, and 
an inflationary budget now coming to the other test i can say that the tax efforts that are made in this budget are non inflationary in character i have made tax efforts through indirect taxation and i have given some relief in direct taxation these are the two major areas of tax efforts i would like to say that under the category of indirect taxes the selective approach for choosing the items for taxation is such that you cannot call the items to be commodities of mass consumption another thing that we have tried is the introduction of a dual pricing policy we have introduced it in the case of steel and this is certainly a new approach i am sure if we apply the principle of a dual pricing in select commodities we will be able to control black marketing now some members made a mention that there is no reference to black money anywhere in the budget speech it is true that those words as such are not used in the speech but the problem has not been lost sight of and it is being carefully watched there is no doubt that black money is created by evasion of taxes and i do not think there are any two views about it there are certain anti social attitudes and that is why there is tax evasion greediness coupled with dishonestly also produces tax evasion i personally feel that this question can be dealt with effectively only if we tries to deal with the problem of tax evasion this is the basic thing in the case of black money sir it is very difficult to deal with every point that has been raised in the course of the debate but i have tried to deal with the major areas of criticism and the major direction in which we are trying to deal with them